This is hard. I don't know why I'm treating this like a really hard math question. All right, my package is here. I'm so excited. The pockets are all faux, so that's just a tease. Hi, I'm Destiny. Today, we're gonna to be trying a plus size style subscription box from the company Dia & Co. Hi, I'm Kaisha. I am a fashion designer and plus size model. Hi, I'm Juliana. I have been a stylist for a subscription box service. I would describe my personal style as modern, chic, and feminine with a little bit of trend thrown in there. So for my personal style, I like to wear a lot of color. I like to wear a lot of pattern. Basically anything cute I'm interested in. I would best describe my style as minimalist, edgy, comfortable. Like I love a good legging, but I also like a leather jacket. I've heard good things about style subscription boxes. I am just nervous about someone choosing my style and also sending me the right sizes. Sometimes I like to wear a different size up top and especially as a plus size person, fit is super important. I've never done something like this before and I feel like doing it with a subscription box service that is solely for plus sizes will make a difference. So I've never used a style subscription box before. I actually don't really know much about them. Dia & Co, their subscription box caters to people who wear sizes 14 through size 32. And I think that's amazing. So I'm gonna go take the quiz right now and see what they pick for me. So I've just pulled up the Dia & Co website and there's a style quiz I can take. This is really good, not just asking like, what's your body type, but showing like your proportions. I feel like this is gonna be really key to get the right fit for different plus size bodies. I think my waist is the same size as my hips. This is hard. I don't know why I'm treating this like a really hard math question. We're gonna say it's the same size. Dress size I will put, ooh, because if it's knit, I like it to fit pretty close to the skin. But if it's a woven, I definitely need the room. I'm going to go actually 26 to be on the safe side. I don't know, 44G plus, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Do we ever have these common fit issues? I think this is great. So they're taking you through issues that you might have when you're shopping yourself. I typically, have button gap issues. This is where it's hard actually picking what my style is. I think I'm close to this, but not exactly. I'm gonna say yes. This one is a little complicated because there's elements in here that I do like, but also elements in here that I would not wear. I'm gonna say no on this one. I love this style. I cannot live without my leather jacket. Yes. Not really a flannel person. Do you like this style? Yeah. I don't know, this is hard. This looks classic, which I like the shapes of classic stuff, so I'm gonna say yes. So now it's asking me where I like to shop and it's showing me a lot of retailers that typically sell plus size items. How much are you willing to spend for the perfect fit? It's nice that they have a budget as low as $30, so this is pretty affordable. Are you looking to step outside of your comfort zone? I mean, let's do it, let's go all in. All right, I'm just about to X out. They do have a note for your stylist section. I feel like the website is a little jumbled as to like what order you're supposed to do things, but I'm so glad I can write something. Okay, so I just ordered the box. It will be here soon. We'll see when it gets here. All right, my package is here. I'm so excited. Welcome to the party. Okay, so I have the box here. They sent me, it looks like, like a return label for the stuff that I wanna send back. Okay, so this first style that they sent is this long maxi faux wrap short sleeve dress. Second outfit is these leggings with a pointel like knit top with a tie at the waist. The third option is this trouser with this novelty top. I think it's a pretty good assortment. There's like basic solid colored pieces, a plain top, printed dress and I love pattern. Printed top, I love pattern again. I love floral especially. This looks pretty good. So they sent me this dress, some type of maxi skirt, a nice simple gray sweater, kind of like this tie dye kind of top. Oh, they sent some jeans. Ooh, these look cute already. Okay, so here is that first 
outfit. I think this is a really pretty color. I think the fit is nice. I would probably maybe size down. It is a little bit loose in places that I tend to like it a little more fitted. This is an option I probably wouldn't have chose for myself, but I think it's cute. I think it's easy. I might style it with a belt, but I think it's like a nice, easy, pretty dress. So here's the pink puff sleeve top. Obviously there is a major gapping issue right here, which I'm pretty used to with my bust, but it's still disappointing and the sleeves are a little tighter than I think they should be. I do love the square neckline. The print is pretty cute so I just wish that it had worked better in the bust there. Okay so this is the first item. The dress. It's cute. It fits just right. It's a little snug in the bust area in the waistline. It does feel like it was catered to me. I don't know if this is necessarily my style. I feel like it used to be once upon a time. This is a little bit more modest for me. Okay, here is outfit two with the leggings, the like waffle knit v-neck top. It has three quarter length sleeve. And then it has this tie detail right here at the waist. Also another outfit that I would not have picked out for myself, but I think it's cute. It's cute for like, you know, running errands, throw on a cute pair of sneakers and you're ready to go. So I'm just not the biggest denim person, but I think these fit really well. There's no gapping, they feel comfortable. I like the looser cut around the ankle, but they're just not my favorite style. I would prefer maybe something more light wash, but I'm gonna try and style them a little outside my comfort zone and see how I like them. So I like them a lot better now that I've kind of styled them. I feel very important, very serious. This feels like a better outfit for the jeans. I really do like the way that this all looks together. They are so cute. I love these jeans, like love these jeans. I pair them with this white booty. They fit good, the button buttons, the zipper zip. It's a good day in the neighborhood. Here is outfit number three, that woven top with the novelty fabric paired with these like straight leg pull on stretch trousers. I also would not have picked this out, but this is a good like work in the office outfit. It has these, again, three quarter balloon sleeve, has a tie at the neck, but yeah, I mean, for me personally, I don't really know about this outfit in particular. Doesn't really give my body much of anything. The pockets are all faux, so that's just a tease. I really like the ruching in the middle. It kind of brings everything in. I don't love that this dangles so low and it is a tiny bit see-through, but overall, I really like the style. I think I can wear it with pants or skirts. So that's a plus. So now I'm trying on this gray top that they sent. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this top. When I saw it, I did not think it was gonna fit like this. The hemline, it like really flows naturally with my body shape. I definitely could see myself adding this to my wardrobe. It's really cute and the material is so soft. I really wanted to love this one. I feel like it has kind of that boho vibe. I thought it could be kind of like 60s wedding guest, but I just feel kind of frumpy. I don't really feel confident in it. I think if this went in a little more or if it was like a slightly different length, maybe I would like it better. But yeah, it's just not doing it for me. Okay, so didn't love this shirt at first but I decided to tie it. I paired it with just black jeans and just like a clear heel. Cute, I love it. This is kind of how the shirt was as is, which is fine. It's still really cute, but it's a little boxy and not really my style. Wearing it like this would definitely push me out of my comfort zone. So the leggings actually do fit really well. I was kind of just like, all right, whatever about them since, but they fit super well comfortable. They have a lot of stretch in them, but they're not like loose or unsupportive. Like I feel like I could definitely work out in these or just go for a casual walk. So that's a big win. I would definitely keep these. Okay, so now I've tried on the maxi skirt. I paired it with white tennis shoes and a denim jacket. This is probably how I would wear it. I have not worn like a maxi style skirt in so long. This is definitely giving me stay at home mom vibes. I'm not your mama, but I am staying at home. Definitely not my style. Without the jacket, I don't love it. It's not really flattering on my waistline to me. I feel like Dia and Co did a really good job for a first box. Of the items, the two that I would keep, I think are actually the plain knit top and the black leggings. So this is a huge win. I'm happy with what I got. I think for me personally, I enjoy shopping and I enjoy styling myself. I could see myself maybe keeping the dress. Okay, so overall, I think my experience went really good. That was my first time using like a subscription style box. I actually really liked a lot of the stuff in that box. And I think it's really cool that there's companies like Dia and Co that are catering to other, you know, body types and making sure that everyone feels a part of the club. 